October 20th found us in Iowa City, Iowa, where we saw a classy Michigan team dominate play throughout the rain-soaked game. Our cameras moved down on the field with the ball in Michigan's possession on the Iowa 40-yard line. Don Peterson takes a pitch out and passes to Lowell Perry, complete for 37 yards to the Iowa 3. On the next play, Bill Putage punches over right guard for a Wolverine touchdown to put them in the lead, 6 to nothing. Michigan scored again in the second quarter. After a shift to the right, Peterson takes a direct pass from center and dives over the goal line. In the third quarter, the Hawkeyes were still trying to engineer a touchdown drive. Here we see Iowa's great fullback, Bill Reichart, as he rambles 29 yards before being knocked out of bounds by Bill Putich. Iowa has lost Bill Reichardt this season. George Broder is tabbed for the fullback spot. New coach this year is Forrest Evashevsky. His young squad will be built around Bert Britzman, veteran quarterback and passer. In 1952, the Hawkeyes will use the single wing. They don't figure high in preseason ratings, but a new coach and a new offense could upset the best. <laughs> 